Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you don't know me, I make videos on finance, investing, and business. For current subscribers, I want to thank you for still sticking around despite me not posting for a while. I plan on releasing more videos on a consistent basis. As you can tell, in this video, we'll be discussing about Berkshire Hathaway. So let's get right in. So in this video, we're going to discuss five things. What Berkshire Hathaway is, who created it, things to know about the company, we'll go over the top five holdings in their stock portfolio, and we'll end off its subsidiaries of Berkshire Hathaway. Let's get rolling. So you've probably heard of it before, but what is Berkshire Hathaway? Well, Berkshire Hathaway is an American holding company based in Omaha, Nebraska. It is currently ran by famous investor, chairman, and CEO Warren Buffett. The company was originally composed of a group of textile milling plants. Now let's talk about Warren Buffett. Buffett is an influence to many people due to his success in investing and profound teaching methods. He acquired the struggling Berkshire Hathaway in the year 1965 and has turned it into a behemoth organization. Still to this day, at the age of 90, he's active with the company. Now let's talk about some fun facts about the company. To start, there are two classes of the stock, Berkshire Class A and Berkshire Class B. As of Friday closed, the prices of each are $313,885 and $208.85. The main difference between these two are the price of the stock, second, Class A has more voting rights, and finally, Class B splits its shares. The whole concept of Class B was to avoid splitting the main stock. Berkshire's Class A stock is the most expensive publicly traded of all time. Another thing to know about Berkshire is that they have only paid one dividend in the history of their company. In 1967, they paid 10 cents per share. Buffett later joked saying that he must have been in the bathroom when the decision was made. The last thing to know about Berkshire Hathaway is that they have a massive stock portfolio. The company's stock portfolio contains 40 plus stocks and is worth over $200 billion. Yes, I said $200 billion. Now we're going to go over the top five holdings of Berkshire Hathaway. The largest position of Berkshire Hathaway is Apple, allocating 44% of their portfolio. Next up is Bank of America at 11%. Then we got Coca-Cola, the longest held stock for the company, at around 9% of their portfolio. After that, Buffett and Berkshire have 7% dedicated to American Express. Finally, the fifth largest holding, just above 5%, is Kraft Heinz. I plan on making a video going over the portfolio of Berkshire sometime soon, so stay tuned for that. Now let's talk about the subsidiaries of Berkshire Hathaway. You've probably seen this one on television before. Geico is a popular auto insurance company known for their hilarious commercials with their famous lizard. It is the second largest auto insurance company after State Farm. Duracell is another company you might have seen ads of, and may very likely have bought their high-performing batteries. Their parent organization is Berkshire Hathaway. NetJets is a company that you may not be familiar with. It is another subsidiary of Berkshire that sells part ownership of business jets. Now let's talk about some ice cream. Dairy Queen is an American fast food chain that provides a various amount of desserts and burgers, and obviously its parent company is Berkshire Hathaway. The last subsidiary of Berkshire Hathaway that we'll discuss is Benjamin Moore Paints. Benjamin Moore is an old company that sells paint for home interiors and exteriors. Now let's talk about the future outlook of the company. Berkshire looks to dominate for years to come. Buffett has already planned for the future of the company. He recently in 2018 promoted Ajit Jain and Greg Abel to vice chairman of the board of directors. Buffett also hired junior stock pickers in Todd Combs and Ted Weschler. Also, the company has recently been more interested in technology stocks and companies. Despite possible changes of staff and members, the core of Berkshire and its principles should not change for the long term, which is great for current and potential investors. Well, that's all I've got for you today. I truly hope you enjoyed this video and possibly learned something new. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe as it helps with the algorithm. Also, if you want to check out some great finance and YouTube tools, make sure to check the description box down below. Once again, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.
Thank you.